Okay, so this video today is actually pretty neat. It's There's a lot to it though, so we're going to go a little bit out of time. It says, below is a drawing of a wall that is to be covered with either wallpaper or paint. The wall is 8 feet high and 16 feet wide. So let's go with 8 foot high we'll just call it eight foot high and 14 feet this way. The window, mirror, and fireplace are not to be painted or papered. Well, that kind of makes sense. The window measures 18 inches wide. Oops, I put the wrong number there. So 18 inches wide and 14 feet high. Well, obviously this is not drawn to scale. Um, and this is 18 inches. Okay. So 18 inches, 14 feet high. The fireplace is five feet wide. And three foot high. And the mirror is four feet wide by two foot high. So with everything here, we got to get this 18 inches into feet. So we have to convert that. So there's 12 inches equals one foot. So if we take 12 out of that, we're left with, left with six inches. And what do we know about six inches? It's a half. So that's going to be one and a half feet. Okay. So now I'm going to erase the conversion because I'm going to need space. And you're going to need to write small because we got to do a lot of math here. So we got to find the area of the whole big rectangle here. So we have our area equals length times width, area equals. 16 times 8. That's our first piece. So we got to do our 16 times our 8, which area equals 128. Now, these are feet squared, feet little too. So these are, we're going to be popping this window out, the mirror out, and the fireplace out. So we are going to be wallpapering all this other stuff, all this stuff. That's not the fireplace, the mirror, and the window. So this is the whole wall. So this is the wall. Okay. So over here, I'm going to put the window. So we're going to find out the dimensions of the window. So we have to multiply area equals length times width. Area equals one and a half times 14. Area equals, and see this one and a half. I'm going to use 1.5 because one and five tenths, it's just a little bit easier than having to deal with anything. And, and a decimal is a lot easier to work with when you're working on paper. Uh, now, remember, we don't have to divide any of this by two because we're not triangles. We're the bunch of rectangles. So we're length times width or just base times height. So 14 times one and a half is going to be 21 feet squared. So this window is 21 feet squared. Okay, that's the whole window. So now this mirror is pretty easy, but we still got to show work. So equals length times width, area equals four times two, area equals eight feet squared. So this is eight. So right now we have 128 being taken away, and we're going to have 21 and eight so far. And this was mirror. And now we have the fireplace. So I'm just going to put FP, fireplace. Area equals length times width. Area equals 5 times 3. Area equals 15 feet squared. All right. Now, um, we can easily find out all of these pieces. So this fireplace is 15. So we have 21, 8, and 15. So we have 21, 29, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 
So when we add that all up, we have 44 feet that we are taking out of that number. So we have 128 minus 44. When we do the math on that, we're going to get 84 feet squared. That's how much we need to wallpaper. Okay. So after all that is said and done, then we have a series of questions that you would answer based off of that data. And that's more of what we're going to be doing in class. So this is how you find all the pieces. This is very much a real life situation. And if there were space on this paper, I would write, I love math and Diet Coke and dogs, all that good stuff. So have a great day. And hopefully you found these notes okay on lesson six.